Hey, welcome back. This is Mickey's over 100 golf course season here. Today is Friday the 28th of April. I've been playing in Mizuno, a three day Wales event this week. This is day number three. Uh, today it's Nevin Golf Club. This is course number 51 this year. And as I'm playing the competition, what I'm going to be doing is walking around filming the holes and then I'll do my round up at, at the end. I actually played this morning, so I've done the course already. So we'll go around filming the, the course see what it looks like. Let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 51 of 2023. It's Nevin Golf Club on the tee. The man who couldn't announce his 50th at Royal St. David's because he's already videoed it. So this is number 51 from Kirkintilloch in Scotland. Smithy! That's the first at Nevin, 446 yards. Mark a post down the middle. It's a big long par four, this one. And then it drops down. We'll get a better view once we get down the fairway. And when you come to the marker post, this is the look down towards the first. It goes down into the dip and then rising up again. A lot of gorse on the right hand side. See in the background. Second hole at Nevin, 349 yards, par 4. A bit of danger out to the right. So, bunkers to the left. So it's a dangerous drive. Then going up the hill to the right hand side. Let's get up the second fairway and just have a look down. Back. Ah, it's pretty nice. That's a view up to the second green from the Tiger Line out near the, the rocks. I mean, I took the Scaredy Cat Line away out to the left of the bunkers. That's a view up to the pin. Third tee, Nevin, 367 yards. Then into the dip, slightly out to the right, and then go back up the hill to the green there. Still got the sea to the right hand side. It's a view up the hill to the third from the very right hand side of the fairway. I'll just come down and have a look at the, the view from the right hand side. And that in front of me is the Wales Coastal Pass sign. Later in the year I'll be walking past here. And here we come to the first of the par fives. And it's hole number four. And Evan, 464 yards. C down to the right. Elevated T drop down. And I think there's a slight rise back up. Let's see if we can see a wee bit closer down towards the green. Uh, not a bad view whatsoever. Ah, just looking down at the fourth fairway there. Uh, fourth green, sorry. From the fairway, we're about halfway down. And another wee look out to see there. That's a closer look at the fourth green from the left hand side, bunkers in front, sea behind. That's fifth hole at Nevin, par 3, 152 yards, and it is an uphill par 3. Some bunkers sitting in front of the green, but I've come to the meadow tees. The yellow ones are just over there, a shorter one at 125. And just look at this from the meadow tee. in there and across it goes back up to the green yeah you really don't want to top it to the right in this hole that's for sure let's look at the fifth green from the side and then you're looking back down that's the tee way back down there and looking at the sixth hole here at Nevin 431 yards Straight down the flat and then it's rising up to the green, away in the distance. Seventh hole at Nevin, 313 yards. Down into the dip, slight dog leg to the right and then rising up again, like quite a few of the holes here. It's an uphill shot to the pin. I'm just down the fairway at seven, looking up to the pin here as it rises up again. I said I'm playing the Mizuno Pairs event this morning. This is some of the players out this afternoon. Eighth hole at Nevin, uh, it's a short par 4, 277 yards over the top, over the marker post and then it drops down quite steeply to the green. Look at that in the background. I come over the marker post to eat and it's the view drop down. Lovely green surrounded by bunkers. Yeah, it's a nice shot into the green. Ninth hole, last day front nine at Nevin, 153 yards, right up the hill, just what we like, uphill par threes, not, clean over the eighth green. 
On to your second half in Evan, 10th hole, 397 yards. Right uphill over the marker post, then dipping down towards the green on the right hand side. Uh, just having a walk down to the 10th green here. And then I'm going to turn round onto the 11th par 3, but here's a better look. 11th hole in Evan, par 3, 156 yards. Slight rise, so there's still only three par 3s on this, and uh, two of them are uphill. And this one's got a slight rise. Oh, complaints going in. Really nice looking hole here, the 12th at Nevin, 352 yards. That's just from the white elevated tee. Other side of the gorse there is the yellow, it's about 25 yards ahead. So you get a better perspective of the hole from up here. That's a look down at the 12th green. That's it, it's very flat once you get down off the elevated tee. 13th hole, shorter par 4, 332 yards. Bit tricky anything right into the golf there. Then the left hand side of the fairway, then a slight dog leg rising up again. And it's a very slopey green, tricky green. Close to look up to the green on 13. It really has a strange shape, it's very narrow. Close to look at the green, it's actually the apron that's very narrow. Uh, green itself, so it's very roly poly. Lots of contours, kind of bowl. 14th at Nevin, 393 yards. Long one, slightly into the wind at the moment. Straight down, up the hill, over the marker post. Up over the marker post at 14, that's the view down to the green. So we get a closer look. Nice long range view. 15th hole at Nevin. 396 yards, stroke index 1. Start straight, then it's going to dog leg quite sharply to the left, eh, rising up the hill. Tough hole, absolutely lovely as well. If you look down into the valley down there, just down towards the sea. So a lot of danger on the left hand side. Round the dog leg in the 15th. You up to the green, straight down to the right of the bunker. Sixteenth at Nevin, heading for home, three hundred and sixty-three yards. Par four, getting up the hill. Marker post, can't see much off the tee, but we're going to have a look behind the tee just to see what this looks like. This is just behind the tee. Get a shot of the valley. Little cove, running out to sea. Over there, absolutely beautiful. And when I'll be walking the Wales coastal path in a few months' time again. We're looking forward to this bit. So this is a green up to the 16th, looking down up towards the green, it's a slight dog leg to the right. I still get the mountains in the background, lovely backdrop. 17th hole, lovely one, along par 4 again, 435 yards. Straight down, I think it's slightly rising up to the green. They do like their rising up to the greens here. Get that backdrop with the mountains there. As I'm walking down 17, I forgot to mention, it's a par 5, you know it's 435 yards. So, must be a toughie. Let's look into the 17th green. First side of the fairway. Bunker left, a bunker just guarding it, so you don't want it to come in from the right. Bit of be in the centre of the fairway. That's the last hole, finishing hole here at Nevin. 374 yards. It's going to cross over the, what was it, the 10th, I think. Uh, so we're heading for the left-hand marker. You can see the clubhouse just down the left-hand side there. Up over the rise and then it's downhill to the green. That's me finished on 18 at Nevin. Oh, of course it's in superb condition. Some lovely views up there. I personally, for me, I tend to uh, differ a wee bit from uh, a lot of people today who thought it was absolutely cracking. Uh, for me, it's a wee bit in the modern side for me. Heartland turf, as opposed to linksy stuff that I prefer. Well, I struggled a wee bit. Some of the holes off the whites is a bit long for me today with it being wet in the morning and no roll in the ball. But there's some lovely holes in the course. This is just my personal taste in modern and traditional. There are lovely holes in the course. The course is in great condition as I said. And most people disagree with me. So in that case I'm not going to mark anything down. But I will say that uh, it does have two uphill path threes and a slightly rising path three. Which isn't my favourite. 
What am I going to give it? It'll be a big 8 out of, eight, eight out of 10 for me if I get my tongue tied. But yeah, 8 out of 10. So that's all from today. Well, it was going to be all, but I'm going to play another course. The point course here is now a nice one for me, this one. So I played that a few years ago, so we're going to have a shot at that. I'll film that and that'll be the next course. So that's all from this afternoon. Let's go and play the next one. I'll give you a wee shot over to the clubhouse. Catch you later.